Hello everyone. Today we will continue with the topo sheet and this is the fourth video on topo sheet. Uh, we have almost completed uh, the syllabus for the half yearly. For four um, topics, uh, only four topics are left that we will cover only in the final examination. Okay. So today is uh, the next topic which we have to start today that is the mode of transportation. Okay. So here are the mode of transport, uh, the four mode of transport and these are the symbol which we are using for it. First is metal road and metal road used to be shown on the topo sheet with the two parallel lines. Okay. And the metal road is also called as Pakka road. Next one is car track. Car track is shown on the topo sheet with a single red line. And car track is also called as motorable. And what is motorable? Uh, motorable means if this car track cannot be crossed by cars and motors during rainy season. And that is due to the mud. Uh, right mud or water so car track is a uh, motorable third one is pack track pack track is uh, used by animals to carry just like donkey mule and all right and uh, pack track is uh, shown on the topo sheet with a red line but uh, with dashes okay third one is railway track and uh, railway track is shown with a black color and this is the symbol for the railway track. So all together these are the symbol for the modes of transport which we can see uh, in our topo sheet. Now we will see uh, it on the topo sheet. Just you can see this is the metal road. Okay? Two parallel red line, uh, two parallel red lines is uh, making the metal road and this is the example of metal road. Now the next one is uh, here. Uh, These are the dash, number of dashes. So which one is, it is? It is our uh, pack track. It is the uh, pack track. Okay. Now the next one is uh, uh, this, this, these lines. Just see here. This is the single red line and this is a uh, a uh, uh, car track and now the third one third one is our railway track and here it is the railway track you can see western railway it is written here and this is the example of the uh, uh, railway track okay so the next topic is color significance Apart from the conventional signs and different colors are used to show the distributional pattern of different land uses, uh, uh, right, uh, on the topographical sheet. Clear? Different colors are. Total seven colors are used on the topo sheet. Total seven colors are used on the topo sheet. Uh, first, we will see black. All the names, river bank, broken ground, dry stream, survey tree, heights and its numbering, their numbering, uh, railway track, telephone and telegraph line. These all things are shown on the topo sheet with black color. Blue color, uh, blue color is used to show the water related features and perennial rivers. Uh, then green color for the forest. Uh, topo sheet is using green color for the grassland light green orchard green color and scattered trees and shrubs in shrubs there could be a carnivorous uh, forest uh, there could be there could be uh, a vine a vine uh, or uh, uh, palm trees uh, these all things generally they are showing with the green color next to white color uh, a white color are used to show the rocky or bad land or infertile land. It means the land which is not suitable for the agriculture. Next yellow color. Yellow color is used to show the cultivated area otherwise fertile area which can be used for the agriculture purpose. Brown color 
all the sand features like sand dune hills etc uh, used to be shown on the topo sheet with the brown color contour lines and their numbers clear and farm line farm line is also uh, uh, used to be shown on the topo sheet with the brown color then a red color okay red color the all the grid line that is easting and northing and their numberings for that they are using a red color and all the man made feature just like road car track path track uh, uh, metal road all the settlement that is a uh, buildings clear uh, temple a uh, mosque uh, fort these all things uh, they are showing with the uh, red color now with the help of this survey sheet we will just uh, just see the 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 significance of the color for example this is the green color it means this whole part has a forest this yellow color it shows that these these uh, the, this land is fertile and suitable for the agriculture blue color it means here is a water clear this white color shows that this land is uh, uh, infertile not suitable for the agriculture clear uh, then these are red colors you can see red colors are for the settlement for the metal road for the uh, for the pack track for the cart track clear and for the uh, eastings and for the northing and their numbering clear these are the red colors right so all together and black color you can see the name all the names the uh, causeway clear canal all the names uh, and same time the, uh, as we have seen in the previous uh, survey sheet the railway track uh, it was with in a black color okay next question generally used to be uh, what uh, what are the occupation of the people living in the given topo sheet okay and we know there are no symbol to show the occupation of the people sometimes certain names like farm orchard uh, provide some evidences of this occupation okay and so list is here and with the help of this list we will just uh, find it out so here we'll see with the evidences uh, if the presence of green color if the presence of green color is found it shows forest region and then the occupation is generally is forestry which includes lumbering furniture making or carpentry okay uh next could be a, a, a agriculture in case if there are large area colored yellow on the map it shows cultivated lands then the dominant occupation is agriculture uh if open scrub clear meadow or open scrub is a uh, is a written near the settlement area then the animal rearing or sheep rearing uh, is an important occupation of that particular area could be possible uh, if there is stony waste theek hai stony sheet rock stony waste ya rock out crops so these things if it is there then in this uh, in this area main occupation of the people is stone cutting and if the settlement is is a near a near rivers then fishing may be an important occupation of the people right so these are some important occupation but mainly first three occupations are coming in your question paper because the area in your topo sheet that is 45d by 7 uh, or 45d by 10 are the remote area of rajasthan and almost the border of gujarat okay so mainly in those areas these are the three main occupation of the people now for example if any question come uh, write any three occupation of the people who are living in this uh, in this area naturally the yellow color is a maxima theek okay? hai right so the agriculture will be the 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 main occupation of this area second can be lumbering because the the green part is also a large area so second occupation will be lumbering forestry uh, carpentry etc these white patches these white patches are 
uh, infertile land and there will be very less vegetation and mainly these areas are used for the animal rearing okay so with the help of these evidences we can uh, we can uh, write the uh, occupation of uh, uh, of the people of this area the question may be give two re uh, reasons to show that the area depicted in the map experience seasonal rainfall how we will prove that the area which is uh, given in the topo sheet has a seasonal rainfall so we have five reasons first one is a dry tank right with the help of dry tank we can prove because dry tank is used to store the water when there is no rain during that time we are using the water from the tank gully erosion is common in the area where there is seasonal rainfall it means two or three month we used to get rain uh, remaining part of the uh, the uh, uh, year generally used to be dry third one is a dry stream the dry stream indicates there used to be water only during the rainy season remain part of the year it generally used to be dry the same way dry river bed fourth is open scrub open scrub indicates the uh, rain is not enough for the proper vegetation so only bushes and grasses used to grow there and uh, so in that way the open scrub is also indicating that the area depicted in the map experiencing the seasonal rainfall so these are the evidences with the help of these evidences these five evidences we can prove that the area uh, of the topo sheet uh, has a seasonal rainfall uh, the question may come not only as a seasonal rainfall uh, say rainfall sometime it used to come as a scanty rainfall or maybe they ask give the evidence for the arid region prove it this area is a arid region or a dry area uh, etc so a different way this question can be asked in the exam okay next common question is give evidence to prove the area economically developed or backward clear they may ask here also we have to give the evidences right to prove the area is economically developed we we have to see these things should be on the topo sheet if there there is a metal road or police station dark bungalow telegraph office dispensary railway station telephone line post office if these uh, um, uh, these amenities are available uh, in the given area then we can say this area is economically developed and in case if these things are not there then we can say that this area is economically backward now if the question comes just prove or give evidence whether this area is economically uh, economically developed or not so we have to find out just see here here this dotted line is telephone line so telephone line is here this is metal road this is pto uh, post telegraph office is there there here is a post office clear and uh, and here you can see thick populated uh, area is there so all these things are showing that this area is economically advanced or developed because all the basic amenity metal road is there telephone is there so that shows that this area is developed in this part of the topo sheet you will be able to see no metal road there is no post office there is no uh, no uh, dark bungalow there is no dispensary uh, no basic facilities are given here so this area will be considered as economically backward so here we are concluding our today's class before that we will just recap what all things we have studied uh, in last four videos so we have covered scale of the map four grid reference six grid reference uh, meaning of the conventional um, assign clear uh, direction from one place to other place then mode of transport 
drainage pattern, settlement pattern, color significance, occupation, and uh, two questions that give evidences. That are two questions on give evidences. Uh, give evidence this is uh, this area has a seasonal rainfall uh, then uh, give evidence that this area is economically developed or economically backward clear such questions uh, we have discussed clear now whatever topic we have discussed in last four videos is the syllabus of the half yearly okay only the question from uh, this much topic will be asked in the half yearly question paper uh, do the practice with your uh, topo sheet book. There is a uh, practice book is with you. Uh, along with that practice book, there is a key, right? But don't depend on that key because number of number of answers are wrong in that. So you may confuse. So uh, discuss among yourself, right? And if uh, still there is any problem, keep aside bring those questions to us when the school will reopen we will sort it out that okay uh, along with this video we are sending a few uh, worksheets or important questions or uh, some exercises right uh, you will you will just get it in from the description box take a upload and uh, just uh, do the practice okay this is enough for today uh, Stay home and be safe. Thank you.